Okay, there seems to be a lot of curiosity and debate and speculation regarding what is going on with the Acaso V50X, the Camp Park V30, which in my mind are identical cameras regarding hardware and why they go out of sync. So what I've done is I've added the GoPro Hero 7 Black, the Acaso V50X, and the Camp Park V30. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just let these run for a while and I'm going to kind of do a talking head because I think I figured out exactly what the situation is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boost up audio on the Acaso and on the Camp Park to a level that is comparable to what the GoPro Hero 7 audio is just to give us a good baseline for audio because I am not only going to sync video but when I sync the video I sync it to audio so we're gonna see how long does it take before the video and audio go out of sync now you may be asking yourself well why in the world are you adding the GoPro Hero 7 black into this when it has really nothing to do with the Acaso or the Camp Park. The reason I'm adding the GoPro Hero 7 Black into this mix is so that I have a baseline. The GoPro Hero 7 Black, the audio does not go out of sync. So I'm gonna have the audio from all three cameras playing all at the same time so that you can hear the audio and what you'll notice is it's not that the audio goes out of sync it's actually the video that goes out of sync and the camp park is actually worse than the Acaso in my initial testings so we'll test it now it's kind of it's almost golden hour well it's almost a little bit past golden hour so it's a little bit darker outside and I apologize if the video quality is not lightly brightly lit for this video but this video is more in regards to audio sync so that's what we're going to stick with so we're going to see how long does it take for the audio and the video to go out of sync on the Acaso and on the camp park and remember, the GoPro Hero 7 is our baseline camera for video and audio. And what I suspect is, after about three, four minutes, we're going to see that probably the Camp Park video is going to be moved further ahead than the Acaso. And the Acaso will be moved a little bit further ahead than the GoPro Hero 7. So what that means is I think the stabilization on the Acaso and on the Camp Park and I think that they're very good even though it crops in the image quite a lot to achieve that but I think it's very good. Is it as good as the GoPro Hero 7 Black? No, but we're talking about budget cameras. But what I think is the stabilization is so good and that processor is so overworked that it is dropping a couple of frames of video. And after a while, those couple of frames being dropped start showing up as an audio video sync problem. And one of the ways that I can test this and prove this fact is to take the video files because first I'll upload the video raw just what you see here and then I'm going to stick the video from the Acaso and the Camp Park into Handbrake it's a program that I use that will help compress some videos but what I'll do is I'll make sure that it's not a variable frame rate I'll make sure that on Handbrake I select constant frame rate so if my suspicions are correct about the Acaso and the Camp Park, 
that they're dropping frames and that's why the video starts moving a little bit forward ahead of the audio is this will be a good way to prove that point because if I can keep the frame rate constant then if everything stays in sync then that's exactly what the problem is with these two cameras so I know there's a lot of people that will use these cameras just for the video quality they'll strap it on they just want to be able to get video but there are a lot of people that want to be able to use these action cameras and vlog in them talk to them pick up some audio of some surrounding scenes whether they're skiing or whatever the case is so right now i am probably close to six minutes in so this should be a really good example now when i do the handbrake and i'm going to re-upload or attach the original clips again into my editing software and show it what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed it up towards the end kind of and that way you don't have to listen to me rambling for another six minutes all over again but it will also show if the audio and video is in sync then guess what folks it is frame dropping and that's what the issue is so now i'm going to stop recording stick it inside and let's see what we find Okay, there seems to be a lot of curiosity and debate and speculation regarding what is going on with the Acaso V50X. The audio is... This will be a good way to prove that point. Because if I can keep the frame rate constant then if everything stays in sync then that's exactly what the problem is with these two cameras so i know there's a lot of people that will use these cameras just for the video quality they'll strap it on they just want to be able to get video but there are a lot of people that want to be able to use these action cameras and vlog in them talk to them pick up some audio of some surrounding scenes whether they're skiing or whatever the case is so right now i am probably close to six minutes in so this should be a really good example now when i do the handbrake and i'm going to re-upload or attach the original clips again into my editing software and show it what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed it up towards the end kind of and that way you don't have to listen to me rambling for another six minutes all over again but it will also show if the audio and video is in sync then guess what folks it is frame dropping and that's what the issue is so now i'm going to stop recording stick it inside and let's see what we find